Hello and welcome to another GoodX Web training session. In this video, we will show you how to set up your own clinical procedure macro that will be used in the general examination form. To show you where you can use this feature, we will start the video in the general examination screen. In the diagnosis and plan panel, you will see the clinical procedures section. In this section, you will see a drop-down where you can choose your templates that you have created that is suited for your practice. If there are no macros to add, you can create one by following these steps. In the diary screen, click on the settings button and select the billing settings tab. Click on the clinical procedure settings panel to expand it. The Add New Procedure button is where you can add procedure macros used for procedures that have the same base codes but differ in some cases. For example, wound closure. The wound could be suited, glued or stapled. The description is a description of the macro. The macro can be searched for with this code or description. The Add Line button will add a new line to the base codes that will be used in the macro, irrespective of the type of procedure. From here, you can add the codes linked to these options or clinical procedures. The Add Option button is where the type of procedure can be added under the options. The options should all have different types of codes specific to that type of procedure. This will create a section named Option Level 1. You will see that one can even add a line, an option, underneath an option to customize your Option Level 1. This will create a section named Option Level 2. Take a look at the video for an example. Once you're done, click on the Save button to save your new clinical procedure macro. Back in the General Examination screen, you can then select the macro in the drop-down. If you added different options, Select one in the Select Options drop-down. If you are happy with this macro, click on the Add to Billing button to add it to the general examination form.